trying to get a sense for how well this serves. Uh, yeah, it's a little blurry. Just running a quick trash pump to see if it's uh, going to spread out through the lake. The blue dye gives me a chance to see where it goes. And uh, yeah, that's my solar powered 60 watt pump. I'm going to replace that today with a uh, 60 watt air lift. And see if the 60 watt air lift will give you enough air lift to move the water column. So that'll be more effective use for 60 watts. So, uh, stop running it off solar. Uh, you really have to have a power supply. Uh, the 60 watts is, you know, it's not the most often set up on the solar either. But those are uh, 440 watt panels. And you would think they would uh, be able to handle the run. Uh, so, well, in roughly a few minutes, uh, we've, we've got all the way out to, to there. So that's a... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 foot uh, run. And uh, so, uh, a good sign. I think the water was getting a little too green, so I needed the blue anyway. I think the fact that it's, you can see the blue and the greens is bigger than that. And maybe it's taking too much algae. So, we'll see how that goes. But it's a good test for how this stirs the lake. I'm thinking uh, 15 minutes of running that could stir the lake pretty good. And uh, given the fact that uh, just in this, I don't know, I'll see it only two minutes for the run time. It's, uh, you know, on its way around the lake in a circle. It's a good sign uh, that we're getting a good good stir. Uh, when I first started running it, is, uh, you know, the rust come out. I, I forgot to empty it last time I ran it and I get the excess water out of the tank. And then um, then the black muck came up, the, uh, the sewage. The, that's a sign I've got a lot of dead organic tissue at the bottom. And especially considering I just ran it and it's already back there. So there's a, a significant dead zone. And that pipe goes out uh, uh, about where the tanks are. And I've been running an uh, air, airlift there now. But uh, that's a good sign. It's, it's making it pretty good. It's stirring well. Um, so, say, ah. Uh, a good solid third of the lake pushed in uh, uh, roughly uh, uh, five minutes. So maybe even half to so halfway mark on the lake. It's uh, 30 feet here, so there's 40 feet. There's 50 feet. And uh, yeah, it's out about 60 feet mark. So, ooh, someone spilled some food. Nice. I don't know if it was me or my buddy. So, not the most efficient way to move water. Gasoline costs a lot of money. I put it on low and I don't run it full height. So, you generally, I get a, off a gallon of gas, I might get three hours of pumping. Uh, and uh, at that, I put the lower nozzle on to get a better spray to it so it gets a, a higher volume, you know, the, the three inch down to the two inch. Uh, gets you increases the speed of the uh, fluid but uh, yeah so here we are halfway across the lake that's a good sign so uh, I mix this lake up pretty good and get some of that colder water up to the top and then get it to mix a little bit of uh, both thermal climbs and uh, the uh, oxygens uh, when I measured it about a month ago, less than a month ago, with the oxygen meter, which hopefully I'll have one here in a week, uh, I had uh, seven, seven uh, milligrams per liter of dissolved oxygen at everything but the last two inches. Well, it, it dropped sooner than that. About the last foot or so, it seemed to be. But all these shallow ends, they were all, this is all up at uh, uh, seven milliliters, uh, seven milligrams per liter. And uh, even the deep in the center was uh, all the way down. But my understanding, it's nighttime that's the the, the dot, uh, loss of oxygen. So you got to watch it then. So we'll be making a video soon here of a uh, camp out here where we uh, stay up all night measuring dissolved oxygen. Yeah. That's a good sign. Looks like that blue is molded in. I probably should have used more to do the test, but give us a good idea of how far out it's made it. Uh, I'm a good. Uh, 
well, I don't know, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 60 feet away at least, and uh, it's still spraying pretty good. Um, I, don't, I don't know how effective this is in terms of uh, watts per uh, uh, dissolved oxygen. I can tell you it's probably worthless, but it's uh, the cheapest pump. It's $8 pump, and uh, it's what I could rig together quick on a 10 volt DC pump. I got a new linear uh, uh, aerator. Maybe I'll make a video after I get it set up.